Okay, so I have this basic setup right here with a player and a camera attached to it. Let's attach your script to the camera and let's call it something like camera controller. We're going to start off with a couple of variables. First one is zoom min for zoom minimum. And then zoom max for the zoom maximum. Then let's add the zoom speed for how, how fast we want to zoom. Then let's add the input function and check if the input event is of the type input event mouse button. And then let's check if the event is pressed. Then let's check if the index of the pressed button is button wheel up. And first we're going to check if we didn't exceed the minimum zoom. And then we're going to zoom in. For zooming out, we're just going to copy and paste this part and replace that with button wheel down and check if we didn't exceed the maximum zoom and change that to plus because we want to zoom out. And there we go. It is working, but there's a problem. You can actually zoom in further than the minimum zoom. If we quickly add a print statement to check it, you can actually see it goes to 0.2, but we can actually go one step further. This is most likely because of floating point errors. If we ask the computer, is this vector bigger than this one? To answer no. But if we change one of the vectors a couple times using mathematical operations, it might answer yes, which is wrong. <laughs> because of floating point errors, the computer might actually see this instead, which it counts as correct. To get around this, we can add a small margin of error to our minimum zoom. It doesn't seem to happen to our maximum zoom because it consists out of two integers instead of two floating point numbers. So there we go, now it's working and it doesn't zoom past the minimum zoom anymore. It looks a bit stuttery. So as a last optional step, let's add some smoothing. So to do this, we're going to add a new variable for the desired zoom. And we're going to initialize it with the current zoom level. Then, in the process function, and we're going to set the zoom to a linear interpolation. We're going to interpolate the zoom to the desired zoom with a weight of 0.2. The lower you set this value, the slower the interpolation will be. And then we will replace all the zoom with the desired zoom. And there we go. It now looks a lot smoother when you zoom in and out. If you have questions or suggestions on topics you want me to cover, be sure to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and goodbye.